In this video, we're sharing what for us wood carving is really all about. And us enjoying it. Having a little bit of fun with what we do. So what we're doing in this project, as you can see, us marking out, we're going to be doing some relief carving of some famous video game characters. And there we are, that's, that's ultimately for ourselves what wood carving is all about, it's, it's enjoying it. Hopefully this will be a great example for everyone to see and show how you don't have to put any restrictions on yourself when it comes to your woodwork and your wood carving. You've got that freedom to make whatever you want and carve the things that you enjoy. So there we are, that's what this one's all about, is having a little bit of fun and sharing a fun project with you all. As you can see, what we've done, we've marked out our characters on the wood itself. We then cut the wood, because the idea with this project is we're gonna actually make a USB light. And we're gonna use the holes that we cut on our scroll saw, they will serve the purpose of allowing the light to shine through and illuminate to backlight our characters. Once we've finished cutting our woods and drilling our holes for doing our pierce work, we're on to our Hegner Multicut 2S using our Nikwa number no. nine blade and we're cutting out our three video game characters. So you cut around the outside. We've also done a few little internal cuts, for instance, taking out the whites of the eyes, and this will allow then the light to shine through. We've decided to use teak in this particular project. And again, that's been chosen because it's one of our favorite timbers to work with. Despite it having a reputation where people say as tough as teak, it's actually a really soft, easy timber for us to work with. On to the hand carving then. And this is really where you can give each character some real individual flair to it, really bring out um, those, those individual characteristics. And ultimately, when you're doing low relief like this, for anyone who is a beginner and interested in taking on different projects, you've basically got to decide what parts of the carving you're going to push back into the woods, and then also making the decisions on which parts of the carving you're gonna bring out. When doing relief carving, the use of a scroll saw is quite helpful because it gives you an outline, which means that you've got a slight advantage on sort of pure relief carving where you have to carve all of those stop cuts around the outside of your figure. The advantage with the scroll saw is you can get that outline before you even start your hand carving. The carving itself, you want to work when you're starting out with a sympathetic piece of wood, but we also advise staying nice and relaxed and enjoying the process. That's why we do it. That's why we share the projects with everyone, because it's a little bit of fun. So yeah, when it comes to the carving, always remember it's a bit of fun. Stick to those basic fundamentals. Try and carve with the grain as much as possible. Cut away from yourself so you reduce the chances of cutting yourself or causing injury. Use a sharp gouge. Secure whatever you are working on in a vise. And the most important tip I can give any of you is to enjoy it. That's the idea of this process. That's the idea of us sharing our videos and sharing a, a project like this one is to show you how much fun you can have with 
wood carving. Once you have completed your carving, we're then onto the belt sander and we sand the backs and the, the, the sides and the tops of each panel to get them nice and smooth. After we've done that, we're then back on the bench and we want a, a little bit of a rough background. So what I basically decided to do with this is to really bring out those characters, the video game characters. I've decided to do a rough background and to drop that background with a little bit of depth. And the thinking behind this is it really brings out those individual uh, video game characters. We then start putting everything together. So the back panel we've actually pinned on. Not too worried about having those two little uh, pin holes on either side because it's the back panel and nobody's really going to see those. So you can see we, we put the pins in and use those just to mark where the uh, pins will go right into the woods. We then put a little bit of glue on there, pin it to the uh, two side pieces. We then glue the front on so we haven't got any pin marks on the front. Sand it all down. And once we're happy with the finish that we've got, we're then using our shellac sanding sealer to finish the project. You can use whatever method you prefer for finishing, but the actual shellacking is a really nice part of the process because that's when you really see all of the character coming out in your carving and the grain, the woods. You can see all the beautiful character that you have in the woods. So there you have it, just a fun project that we thought we would share with you all. Let us know in the comments section which of those characters is your favourite and which of the carvings do you like the best. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. If you've enjoyed this one, give us a little like. And as we always say, we'll be back again soon with more videos. Thank you all again for watching.